I'm gonna be decorating this huge black shelf in my living room. This shelf was a Facebook Marketplace find. I actually got it for free. I traded a small little shelf for this one because it needed a lot of work. My amazing in-laws fixed it up for me. They patched it, they painted it for me. It's huge, it's beautiful, and I love this shelf. It's about eight foot tall. It's the perfect living room, armoire, shelf, whatever. So today I'm gonna be decorating it. I know it's really challenging, to decorate shelves. You don't want anything to look too cluttered or too minimal either. So it's really tricky, but this is how I'm decorating my shelf today. My style is kind of like cottage, antique, eclectic, a little bit of farmhouse. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step of each shelf of how I decorate it. So if you've never seen my channel before, I'm Sarah, my channel is Cottage on Jones. Here on this channel, I show my day-to-day -day life. I show thrifting finds, antique finds, um, holiday decor, home decor. I'd love if you followed along and subscribed and become a part of this family on YouTube. So let's hop into the video. Okay, for the top shelf, I just wanted something pretty big and something in the middle and kind of minimalistic. So I have this huge basket of dried hydrangeas. So I'm just gonna sit it in there, in the center, okay. Push it back just a little bit. You could leave it like that. Just a simple basket of hydrangeas. But I have these pheasants, these brass pheasants, that I think would look good just here on the sides. Push it back just a little bit more. Just to add a little bit of gold up there. So that's the first shelf. The second shelf is going to look more like an actual bookshelf. I am going to include actual books. <laughs> I gathered these books from around the house. I'm going to put that one first in there. And then we have good old Ronald Reagan. I put that book right there. And my favorite book is this old, it's called Bible Readings for the Home Circle. It's so old. But look at the pages, how pretty. So I'm going to face this one this way just because the pages are really, really pretty. Okay, for the next books, they're more like coffee table books. This Kristen John's Growing Seasons. I love that book. And also Magnolia Story, Chip and Joanna's book. I think this shelf needs to be anchored with a picture and how perfect. Pheasant and a pheasant. <laughs> I got this picture from a thrift store for just a couple of dollars. So I'm gonna put it up here. I hung up that picture with a little command strip right there in the center. Okay, next I'm gonna set this beautiful vase. It looks antique, but it's not. <laughs> I wish it was. It's from, um, I think it's from Tuesday morning, $12.99. I miss Tuesday morning. Let me know if you shopped at Tuesday morning before they closed. It was such a good store, but um, I'm pretty sure they all closed. Okay. For the other side of the shelf, I want some green. So I have this um, copper, I think this is an ash bucket with this plant. I'm so proud of this plant. It's like the first house plant I've ever kept alive. So I'm gonna push that in there. I'm just gonna let the leaves fall where they naturally fall and kind of cat a corner of that bucket. Again, you could leave it like this for like a minimal look but I'm not minimal. <laughs> and also this is how I decorate my shelves. I love family photos. This is a picture of Cody and I with my parents on our wedding day. I'm not one of these people that does not include family photos in their home. I love family photos. So I just put that little frame right there and that is the second shelf. I really like the way it turned out. I think it's perfectly balanced. Shelf. We're at the bottom shelf, which is the trickiest for me. It does have a hole for my lamp and our little um, home pod. So I, I know I have to cover that up. So I have a lamp I know I'm gonna use and these are just like our um, records for our record player. Okay, I have more books. This is another um, Joanna Gaines book, Homebody coffee table book. I just, um, I just took off the um, paper jackets and they're really, they're a really pretty color. So that's just a little tip. If you own her books, 
I set that book right there. I wish I had more, but that's okay. The records kind of help um, make it look like there's more books. And I have these coffee table books. Um, these are both thrifted, and I love these. Easy Cottage Style and Color is the name of that one. I put those there to kind of mimic that over there. It's on opposite sides and it kind of balances it out. Okay, I put that little lamp on the books. I think I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more and put it kind of towards this side. I know that I have to cover up the center. So instead of doing another picture in the center like I did on the second shelf, I'm actually gonna use a plate. I think using a plate is an amazing um, backdrop instead of a picture. I used to kind of think I didn't like plates in the living room, but I think it's beautiful and it creates such a pretty backdrop. Okay, for the little books, I have this tiny little wreath. I got this from like a um, boutique or something, like a home boutique. So I'm gonna place it right there and have this little bitty bird. I think I thrifted this. It's just like a beautiful like um, light blue or gray color. Okay, I just set the little bird right there in the center and that creates like a little nest for him. So I'm done with this side. I really like the way it looks. It's very simple, simple to me. <laughs> and uh, I like the way it turned out. Okay, for this side, I like to use family photos. So I have to hide our little HomePod. So I'm gonna use this frame. This photo is of me and Cody on our very first date <laughs> nine years ago. I love that picture and it's just very special to me. And I also have this photo. These are my nanny kids that I nannied for um, almost eight years and they are so special to me. I placed that one kind of like in the front of that one to create like a layered look. And once again, you could be done, but since there's a little bit of blue throughout the shelf, um, I wanted to add a little color on this shelf as well because the lampshade is white and the plate is white. So I kind of wanted to break it up. So I have this little bitty um, saucer. It's just an old saucer I thrifted. I'm just gonna place it right here on top of the other plate. Okay, and this is my completed bookshelf. I know it's probably not for everybody. A lot of people like to just stick with whites and grays, but this is my style. I like to incorporate color and antiques. So that is the finished product. I hope that you learned some tips and tricks to decorate your bookshelf or gain some inspiration from my bookshelf. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and like it if you did, and I'll see you next time.